Welcome to Mindfully Stoic, a channel dedicated to increasing mindfulness through the lens of the ancient philosophy of Stoicism. Today's guided meditation is on the Stoic concept of amor fati, or the love of one's fate. It is the attitude that one has in which they radically accept and come to love the outcomes of providence. By accepting our fate, we can live more present in the now, we can desire that which is in our control, and it can provide an impetus in finding a solution to any problems that we may be experiencing. Now, let's begin. Find a comfortable position and start to pay attention to your breath. Release any tension you are feeling, both physically and mentally. Try to be present with me at this moment. Take this time for yourself and allow yourself to relax. And once you have found a comfortable position, you will start a body scan, starting from your head and all the way down to your toes. Pay attention to your head and your neck. Imagine the muscles in those areas relaxing and letting go of any tension. Focus on the muscles of the back and shoulders. Imagine the muscles releasing tension. Pay attention to the arms, legs, the hands and the feet. Relax and release the tension. Imagine yourself starting to sink into your seat or the ground. If any thoughts arise, remember to observe them and let them go without any judgment. Now listen to your heartbeat. Feel the pulse emanating throughout your body. If you would like, you can place your hand on your heart and feel the rhythms of your body. Now draw attention to your breath, to the air entering and exiting your lungs, and take a moment to be grateful for the air we breathe, for it gives us life and rejuvenation. Repeat after me in your mind. Breathe in, I am breathing in. Breathe out, I am breathing out. Breathe in, I am breathing in. Breathe out. I am breathing out. While many Stoic philosophers taught about the idea behind Amor Fati, the term was actually coined by German philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche when he said, My formula for greatness in a human being is Amor Fati that one wants nothing to be different, not forward, not backward, not in all eternity, not merely bear what is necessary, still less conceal it. All idealism is mendacity in the face of what is necessary, but love it. 
In other words, we can't be hindered looking forward in the future or backwards in the past. That is not where you are. That is not the path to greatness. And that is not the path to living a flourishing life. This is easier said than done. To accept our fate means to accept the good, the bad, and the ugly. Think about the totality of what it means to be a human. It means to accept death, sickness, old age, suffering, and pain, while also accepting life, health, youth, thriving, and pleasure. Another thing that might be difficult to accept is the monotony of life. We wake up, get ready for the day, go to work or school, fulfill our regular duties, and repeat the same routine almost every day. This tediousness of everyday life can cause a steady, unsatisfactory feeling. Whether it is the repetition of life or a life-changing event, Amor Fati can assist us to have the right perspective to live a better life. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Universe, whatever is consonant with you is consonant with me. If something is timely for you, is neither too early nor too late for me. Nature, everything is fruit to me that your season brings. Everything comes from you. Everything is contained in you. Everything returns to you. And similarly, Epictetus taught, Do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather wish that what happens, happen the way it happens. Then you will be happy. Amor Fati is about making the best of all that life throws at you. It is about embracing the events that happen to you, not begrudgingly, but willingly. It is like the myth of Sisyphus by Albert Camus. Sisyphus was consigned to an eternity of pushing a boulder up a hill as punishment by the gods. Similarly, we've been given this one life to live. The experience and events we have in life become the boulder we push up the hill over and over. Camus concludes, I leave Sisyphus at the foot of the mountain. One always finds one's burden again, but Sisyphus teaches the higher fidelity that negates the gods and raises rocks. He too concludes that all is well. This universe henceforth without a master seems to him neither sterile nor futile. Each atom of that stone each mineral flake of that night-filled mountain in itself forms a world. The struggle itself toward the heights is enough to fill a man's heart. One must imagine Sisyphus happy. Sometimes we may be tempted to look at the boulder that someone is pushing up the hill and wish we had been given that one. We can gripe and complain, but it doesn't improve anything. As far as I know, we have but one life. By accepting this life and all that comes with it, we can imagine ourselves happy, despite the suffering of existence. It might be easier to accept fate, but take a lot more time and practice to actually love it. For example, I doubt anyone would rightfully say that they love when a loved one passes on. But you could love the fact that you love someone enough to mourn them. You could love the fact that you had pleasant memories and experiences with this person. You could love the lessons you learned from this individual. Or you could love the person you eventually became as a result of their impact on your life. It's important to remember that exemplifying Amor Fati takes time and practice. Don't beat yourself up if you are having difficulty practicing it. The struggle of accepting fate was illustrated beautifully in a dialogue between Frodo and Gandalf in The Lord of the Rings. Frodo, talking about the difficulty of existing in his time, said, I wish it need not have happened in my time, said Frodo. So do I, said Gandalf, and so do all who live to see such times. But that is not for them to decide. 
All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. It is not up to us to choose our place of birth, to choose our family, or in short, to choose our circumstances. But we have power to decide what to do with the time allotted to us. We have the ability to love our fate as if we wished it to happen. With practice and patience, we can embody Amor Fati. By doing so, we can live more present in the now, we can desire what is in our control, and we can focus on finding a solution to any problems we may be experiencing. Take your problems and turn them into potential. Take your pain and turn it into power. Now, come back to your breath. Repeat after me in your mind. Breathe in, I will learn to accept fate. Breathe out, I will learn to love fate. Breathe in, I will learn to accept fate. Breathe out, I will learn to love fate. Now start to pay more attention to your body and the sensations you are feeling at this present moment. Try to remember any positive thoughts or moments that you had during this meditation session. Slowly start to move your hands, your feet, your arms, your legs, and the rest of your body. Or if you so choose, take a moment and continue to relax. Thank you for listening to this guided meditation. I appreciate your efforts on becoming more mindful and more virtuous. Let us strive to be mindfully stoic.